Whether we're moving metaphorical mountains or literally laying down some pretty complex logistics, us humans have spent thousands of years figuring out how to haul the heftiest of cargo. And after millennia of assembling pyramids and stone statues of ancient gods, it's safe to say that our capabilities have only gotten better with age. By utilizing an array of the most extreme machinery ever created, the modern transportation industry has achieved the impossible, from forging a supply line that spans half the planet to a machine that plummets deeper into the ocean than ever before. Here's the 15 most incredible transport operations of all time. <laughs> Prelude FLNG. All right, what better way to begin this list than with one of the largest things to have ever floated on the ocean? Well, that's if you're not counting Cthulhu in that equation. But hey, we've said too much already. Instead, feast your eyes on Royal Dutch Shell's Prelude FLNG, the first ever floating liquefied natural gas platform in the world, as well as the largest offshore oil facility ever built. For all intents and purposes, this is an engineering masterpiece, utilizing some of the most complex flotation technologies ever implemented in a single construction, with enough water displacement that is equal to six large-sized aircraft carriers. To put this into perspective, the facility deck of the Prelude is longer than four football fields laid end-to-end, -end, and its hull contains storage size equal to 175 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Yeah, just let that sink in. That's huge! capable of maneuvering through the water with 6,700 horsepower thrusters. It operates off the coastlines of Australia in both the Prelude and Concerto gas fields, where it plans to continue its project with a life expectancy of around 25 years. While the oil industry may quickly be giving way to a new, green future, it may very well be its greatest swan song. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. Okay, on the subject of gigantic objects moving through the ocean at terrifying speeds, feast your eyes on this troublesome image, recently discovered by our team of researchers. At full speed ahead, it seems that this image captures a gigantic cargo freighter colliding with a much smaller barge, and yeah, we're pretty sure who wins at this confrontation. The thing is, there's very little information about this image, and if these two vessels crashed into each other, it seems it never made the news. Who knows, maybe the little barge got away just in time. Well, maybe you guys know some more on the matter, and if you do, make sure to join the conversation below by using the hashtag missing topic. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Iceberg breakers, iceberg ahead. Yeah, that's probably the last thing you want to hear when traveling across the ocean. And after sinking one of the most famous ships in human history, the Titanic, it seems that rogue icebergs are a maritime disaster waiting to happen. However, it seems that technology swiftly came up with an incredible solution to that pressing problem. Enter the Icebreaker, one of the most astonishing classification of ships we've ever seen, and a vital marine vessel that ensures the safety of the global shipping industry. As the name suggests, icebreaker ships are a special class of ships that are designed to break even the thickest of ice, and in doing so, make some of the more inhospitable paths on Earth accessible to the rest of the world, navigating through the otherwise tumultuous polar regions. While the idea of an icebreaker ship has been around for a very long time, since the initial days of polar exploration, it hasn't been until the modern era that icebreaker ships have reached their maximum efficiency entirely capable of tearing through some of the most inhospitable locations on our planet. While they operate pretty much everywhere on the ocean, the most common trade routes are the icy waters of the Baltic Sea, the St. Lawrence Seaway, the Great Lakes, and the Northern Sea Route, shipping lanes that are vital to the global economy. <laughs> Bangladesh Ferry System Staying firmly on the water, another place on Earth that relies on the upkeep of their vital waterways is Bangladesh, a mainly coastal country whose relationship with shipping transportation is vital to their ever-growing economy. With a population of over 170 million people, the country relies heavily on the nearly 4,000 miles of navigatable waterways to keep their vibrant cities adequately supplied. And because of that, back in 2020, the Bangladeshi government began investing in one of the more ambitious ferry freighting systems that the country has ever seen. 
Previously, the country's safety standards for passenger ferries had been incredibly poor, mainly down to huge amounts of overcrowding, resulting in countless unnecessary wreckages and incidents, often at the cost of human life. Now, Bangladesh's overhaul of their vital waterways is seen as one of the more important transportation operations in the country's history, with the aim of eventually leading toward economic and logistical success. <laughs> China's New Silk Road Perhaps the most ambitious on this list, as well as being the most controversial, the colossal Belt and Road Initiative laid down by China has the potential to change our planet's economy forever. In ancient times, the Silk Road was perhaps the single most important trading route in human history, spanning from the furthest reaches of eastern China all the way to Europe, sharing cultures, languages, food and resources along the way. Well, as part of the Chinese government's approach to the economic boom in the last decade, there's been trillions of dollars worth of investment in recreating the historical Silk Road, known officially as the Belt and Road Initiative. By utilizing modern logistical methods, the Silk Road 2.0 will essentially create a network of road, rails, and shipping ports around the world in order to maintain a constant flow of import and export goods across all global markets. Once complete, this staggeringly ambitious transport operation will be sure to change the economic landscape for good, and only time will tell how vital it will be in the future of human civilization. Mm -hmm. Antonov AN-225 Maria All right, on the subject of historical feats of transportation, feast your eyes on the Antonov AN-225 Maria, the largest aircraft ever built. Originally produced by the Soviet Union back in the 1980s, this cargo plane has since become synonymous with large-scale relief work, refugee operations, and even delivering a 117-ton generator to one of the more inaccessible places on Earth. While the history of the AN-225 is explicitly tied to the Soviet Union, where it was first commissioned in the 1980s with the purpose of carrying Russian space shuttles to launch space stations, it's since become a vital supply line for some of the more challenging transport operations in recent memory. Following the ultimate collapse of the Soviet Union, this Ukrainian-built vessel was instead repurposed to offer aid to disaster zones, armed with six powerful engines and a massive cargo hold in order to haul colossal cargo. Believe it or not, but only one AN-225 was ever actually built, despite a whole fleet of the aircrafts originally planned for production, making it one of the rarest aircrafts still in operation today. This ship is certainly one of a kind, and it's an incredible display of human ingenuity. <laughs> Ho Autoliners While there have been many famous Norwegian sailors, mainly being the Vikings of Scandinavia, such as Harold Hardrada and Leif Eriksson, in more modern times, there is one shipping company that maintains that lifelong tradition. Ho Autoliners, founded by Leif Ho back in 1927, is perhaps one of the more prolific maritime transportation systems across the planet, capable of operating across all of the world's oceans, supplying every corner of the planet on a rolling basis. As one of the more successful shipping companies of all time, Ho Autoliners employs a fleet of some of the more capable vessels ever constructed, and they currently hold the record for the largest pure car and truck carrier ever built. The Ho Target holds a carrying capacity of over 8,500 car equivalent units, making it the largest freighting vessel currently operating on the planet. Yeah, that's big. <coughs> EV Nautilus the truth is, we currently know more about the surface of the moon than we do our own oceans, but thankfully for us, there's one incredible vessel currently trying to change that. Feast your eyes on the EV Nautilus, a deep-sea exploration vessel that carries a fleet of submarine vehicles currently used to delve into the deepest portions of our planet's oceans. For all intents and purposes, if you've seen some pretty weird deep-sea creatures over here on Missing Files before, there's a pretty darn good chance that it was discovered by the Nautilus, as these guys spend their lives searching the abyss in the hope of unlocking the untold secrets of the deep. Officially launched back in 2009, after previously being in service for a German Baltic Sea Research Institute, the exploration vessel Nautilus is a 210-foot American research vessel owned and operated by the Ocean Exploration Trust of America, which is headed by the world-renowned Dr. Robert Ballard, the researcher responsible for finding the wreck of the Titanic as well as the famed German battleship Bismarck. In order to carry out its mission, the Nautilus is equipped with two deep-sea remotely operated vehicles, Hercules and Argus. 
who knows what astonishing discovery they'll find. <laughs> Bullwinkle Oil Platform As the world's tallest offshore drilling platform, the Bullwinkle is no stranger to astonishing feats of engineering. Built back in 1988, this eye-watering structure is technically taller than Chicago's Sears Tower, measuring in at a total of 1,736 feet and weighing a truly staggering 77,000 tons. Yikes, yeah, that's big! Officially launched in 1988, at the time of its initial construction, the Bullwinkle oil platform was technically the third tallest freestanding structure ever built, shorter only than the CN Tower in Toronto and the Ostankino Tower in Moscow. All in all, the total field development cost of this astonishing structure was said to be upward of $500 million, although no official sources have ever revealed the true cost of this mega machine. Yet given the size of it, you'd probably want to keep that a secret. <laughs> JJ the Grey Whale Although we've seen enormous oil installations and colossal cargo carriers so far, here's a question for you. How the heck do you transport a whale? Well, believe it or not, but there's an incredibly insightful answer to that weird and wonderful question. Back in 1988, SeaWorld San Diego rescued a young female gray whale that had been discovered stranded on a beach. Tragically, the whale was found to be highly emaciated and in severe levels of health, and experts feared that she wouldn't survive the trauma. While spending a year under SeaWorld's care, the whale, which would later be named JJ, had grown to over 31 feet and weighed in at a staggering 19,200 pounds, eating tons of buckets of fish per day in order to become healthy again. Well, after a year in captivity, it was time for JJ to be released back into the wild and an operation was undertaken to successfully haul the largest mammal ever transported. After being lifted from her SeaWorld tank by crane and placed on a 40-foot foam padded trailer, JJ was fitted into a custom-made transport sling while human aides constantly bathed her in water. There she was loaded onto a naval vessel that had been equipped to carry her, where she was then safely transported to an area off San Diego's westernmost point. Thankfully, JJ survived the ordeal and went on to live a safe and fruitful life. <laughs> Bagger 288 Alright, nothing says incredible transport operation quite like digging into the deepest parts of our planet, right? Meet the Bagger 288, one of the largest terrestrial vehicles in the world, requiring a huge crew of people to operate, which is purpose-built to move large volumes of earth and rock for coal mining. With a huge central circular shovel digging constantly, it can move up to 240,000 tons of earth along its conveyor belt system in a single day. Yeah, that's a lot of dirt. First produced back in 1978, the Bagger 288 is a bucket wheel excavator used for digging coal mining operations as well as establishing lines for pipes to be laid. Although it takes several weeks for it to move from one mine to another, and although it may be a pretty slow and hefty operation, it certainly does the job. When the Bagger 288's construction was first built, it superseded the Big Muskie as the heaviest land vehicle in the world at a staggering 13,500 tons. It took over five years to design and manufacture this beast of transportation and another five years to assemble, with a total cost reaching over $100 million. When in full operation, the Bagger 288 can excavate roughly the equivalent of an entire football field dug to a depth of 98 feet the coal production alone fills 2,400 coal wagons every single day. Yeah, that's one huge operation. Hmm. NASA's Crawler Transport At 20 feet tall, 131 feet long, and a whopping 114 feet wide, ever since its completion back in the 1960s, the NASA Crawler Transporter has been hailed as the largest self-powered vehicle in the world. Originally designed and developed for the first moon landings back during the space race between the United States and Russia, what is truly incredible about these astonishing machines is that they're still the best possible logistical vehicle with which to move space rockets. During their tenure at Florida's Kennedy Space Center, the NASA crawler transporters have shipped the Apollo space rockets, Saturn 1B, Saturn V, and most recently the Skylab rockets. Obviously, when you're moving spacecraft that cost hundreds of millions of dollars, you want the very best of the best, and while they've been adjusted and upgraded over the years, the main body design still stays virtually the same. Each of them is the size of a baseball infield, and they're powered by huge locomotive and electrical power generator engines. After staying at the top of their game for over six decades, this pair of crawler transporters are the only two of their kind in the world. 
and they roughly weigh the equivalent of 15 Statues of Liberty. Now that's a pretty heavy vehicle. Boca Vanguard. When it comes to transportation, how do you lift some of the largest vessels ever made? Well, you build an ever larger vessel. Previously known as the Dockwise Vanguard, the newly named Boca Vanguard is a heavy lift vessel which transports super heavy FPSOs across the oceans of the world and is capable of carrying cargoes of up to 110,000 tons. Oh, FPSOs, otherwise known as floating production systems, are vessels that receive fluids such as crude oil, water, and a host of other things and are integral in shipping vital resources across the planet. And as you may imagine, while these vessels weigh an impossible amount, it's the Boca Vanguard's job to lift these floating factories in and out of the ocean, measuring in at 902 feet in length, and possessing a dead weight tonnage of over 116,000 tons. The Boca Vanguard is the largest of her kind to have ever been constructed and layered down in water. When it comes to moving colossal oil rigs or deep sea installations, there's only one machine equipped for the job. Hmm. <laughs> Japanese Maglev Train Japan is an extraordinary country, filled with a rich and vibrant culture and home to some of the more incredible technologies ever created. While Japan is known for many things, such as anime, video games, and delicious noodle-based cuisine, its transport network is second to none. As the pioneers of the Maglev Bullet Train, an awe-inspiring transportation network that spans almost the entire country, traveling across Japan by rail is the most effective and efficient way of experiencing one of the crowning glories in locomotive transport. Although the original system was created back in the 1970s, this train system wasn't implemented until 2009, which possessed Japan's famous Maglev Bullet Train, officially the fastest train in the world, before it was concurrently overtaken by the Shanghai Maglev Train in China back in the mid-2010s. Still, during its tenure at the top, the awe-inspiring Shinkansen network regularly operates at speeds of over 200 miles per hour, fast enough to lift the train over 4 inches off the ground while it hurdles through its track. Incredibly, back in 2015, its top speed was clocked in at 375 miles per hour, which breaks the record of any maglev system on Earth. Rhino Airlifting all right, while we saw JJ the Grey Whale getting airlifted by a crane back into the ocean, it seems that some land animals have also seen their fair share of air cargo transport. And incredibly, while transporting a whale was a particularly rare occurrence, believe it or not, rhino airlifting is a pretty routine route in certain areas of Africa. Back in spring of 2018, nearly 20 incredibly rare black rhinos were airlifted from South Africa to Zakoma National Park in Chad, a country where these animals have been extinct since the late 80s. As part of a memorandum signed by the South African government, a project was implemented that aimed to reintroduce black rhinos to the country after their populations had disappeared due to illegal poaching. The operation required them being safely sedated and then airlifted across the border in custom-fitted aircraft. Considering that each rhino weighs up to two and a half tons each, it took a pretty powerful engine to lift off. Lagos Traffic And finally, when it comes to incredible transport operations, what better way to finish this list than with one of the biggest traffic jams on Earth? If you've ever experienced a gridlocked traffic jam, then you'll know just how frustrating sitting behind the wheel of a car can be when you're breathing in the choking fumes of idle vehicles. However, spare a thought for the biggest traffic jam on the planet, Lagos, Nigeria, a place where getting caught out in rush hour could end up a four-hour daily commute. Yeah, you heard that right, four hours. As one of the more densely populated cities on Earth, with over 21 million people calling Lagos their home, the congestion scene here is virtually unrivaled due to a combination of poor transport links and a lack of investment in infrastructure. Still, people have to go about their daily business commuting from A to B. It just takes it seriously, seriously a long time. Yeah, that's one heck of a transport operation. Well, there we have it, the 15 most incredible transport operations of all time. What you guys think? Let us know your thoughts down below. As always, thanks for sticking around all the way until the end. You've been watching Missing Files. See you next time.